What's up guys, so the hype for the Kenobi show has just gotten a whole lot bigger. Ian McDermott, who of course plays the infamous Emperor Palpatine, has come out and said some crazy stuff about his possible return to the character of Emperor Palpatine in the Kenobi show. So let's get right into all of it right now. So with the return of Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi in his own show, of course, and Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader, why not bring Ian McDermott back as Emperor Palpatine? He just did it a few years ago to do it for Rise of Skywalker as they resurrected Emperor Palpatine in that, but this is the real Palps. This is the peak empire between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope before the Rebels rise up in the original trilogy, after Order 66 and the Empire comes to power, this is the peak of the Empire. And who's ruling the Empire? Emperor Palpatine. Oh my god. No way. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. I didn't know that. So why not bring Ian McDermott back as Palpatine? I'm sure he would love to do it. I'm sure he's retired living off the luxuries of being freaking Palpatine for the rest of his life so I'm sure he would love to just come back reunite with Hayden and reunite with Ewan and, and all those scenes they did together in the prequel trilogy and they would love it and of course us as fans would definitely love it any any chance to see Emperor Palpatine sheave himself back on screen is a great day for Star Wars fans so when Ian McDermott was asked if Palpatine could even show up anytime soon in Star Wars or even in the Kenobi show, he said Vader is there, so I suppose it's not impossible. Now this is awesome. Even he wants to come back. It's not him saying, oh, I'm definitely in it. It's not him saying I'm not in it, but it's, it doesn't take out the possibility that he could be in it. So let's talk about an actual appearance of Sheev Palpatine. If you guys are confused on why I keep calling him Sheev, it is actually his first name. His name is in fact Sheev, S-H-E-E-V. Palpatine. So that's why I keep calling him Chief. Emperor Palpatine. How could he actually show up? We know this is a show about Obi-Wan Kenobi, so why would he be facing off against Palpatine? He wouldn't. He wouldn't be. You wouldn't see a face-off between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Palpatine. That would never happen. We're going to see, of course, the rematch of the century, Obi-Wan versus Darth Vader. That's definitely going down. It's not going to be a dream sequence. It's not going to be whatever. It's going to go down actually in real canon life in front of your actual eyes in the real world, not the metaverse, the real world. It's going to be Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan Kenobi, the rematch of the century. So where does Palpatine chime into all this? Of course, he's ruling the Empire, which is looking for Jedi like Obi-Wan, who have survived Order 66. So maybe it's just a hologram. He shows up to Darth Vader. He's like, hey, look, your master's killed a bunch of Inquisitors. We need you to go kill him. He's resurfaced. We need him gone. And we might just hear Palpatine say the two greatest words that Emperor Palpatine has ever said in his whole entire life, and that is do it. Why not? Why not just have all of his lines be great quotes from Revenge of the Sith or the original trilogy? Just have him say, Lord Vader. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> also, your master, he, uh, he, he's killed a bunch of people. We should probably go take care of that. Execute Order 66. Do it. <laughs> that's pretty much how it's going to go down. Roll the credits. That's that's all it takes. That's all you need from the show. It's just Palpatine in a hologram to Darth Vader. You don't even need Obi-Wan in the show. You don't even need him. Just mention him. Maybe even mention him. Just say you're master. You don't even have to mention Obi-Wan. Just 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 a just a 5 minute clip between Sheev and Vader. Do it. Just do it. But in all seriousness, Palpatine showing up as a hologram to Darth Vader, telling him that his master has re resurfaced and has killed a bunch of Inquisitors and he has to go take care of it, would be unreal. I mean, how do you not want to see that? Tell me if you don't want to see that in the comments, because you, you, I think I think you got a little bit more problems here than uh, watching my Star Wars videos. If you don't think that she's showing up in this show is a great idea, you got to rethink your life. So what is Palpatine doing at this time in the galaxy? What isn't Palpatine doing right now? All he's ever done from the beginning of time is cloning. From the second he came out of the womb, he was like, I'm a clone myself. And from the day he died and in, in re-died in Rise of Skywalker, he was trying to clone himself. This is all this guy tried to do his whole entire life. So he, what he's probably doing right now, 10 years before A New Hope, is clone. 
I mean, he might have Grogu. We don't know who took Grogu from the temple. He might have Grogu trying to clone him, but if not, he might be working on a old Snoke clone or uh, who knows we just know he's cloning because he's always cloning if you're like oh what could palpatine be up to today your best bet cloning so tell me in the comments below do you want to see ian mcdermott reprise his role as emperor palpatine in the obi-wan kenobi show even if it's just a hologram or a two minute clip of just him or a five second clip of just him do you want to see him return tell me in the comments below Smash like if you like this video, hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video and my videos will pop up in your recommended feed. Have a great rest of your day and have a great rest of your life because Star Wars will be here for you forever. And may the Force be with you, always.